Hello, new, hello, fitness enthusiasts. Welcome to the journey and come on in. All right, you got your water, check. You pushed your furniture back, check. You are ready to hit the floor. So I'm just gonna shimmy. I'm just gonna shimmy because you know I like to start these videos out with a little dance, but we do not have time. We got three songs to get through this core floor workout. Come on down, let's meet on the floor. If you need a yoga mat, go ahead and grab it. I'm going to work today without a mat. Also, if you have ankle weights, do this video. If you're used to using ankle weights, do it with ankle weights. But if not, do it one time around with the ankle or without the ankle weights and then come back in and add them. All right, let me stop chatting at you. Come on down. We're starting with bridges. Let's do up and down. Nice and easy. I want you to get your feet in a comfortable position, palms up. Now you will hear me frequently say this. Palms stay up so we're not tempted to press off the fingertips or off the hands. We're doing four more. You got four, three. I want to loosen up the back. Two and one. Bring those knees in. Knees into the chest and hold. Drop your shoulders into your back. Flex your feet. Extend up. Open up those hamstrings. Drop your left foot. Arms out to the side. And we lift up and down so we're into our single leg bridge lift keep your foot neutral you don't have to hard flex here four three two and one let's get that lower back stretch again pull the knees in flex your feet Woo! and hold drop it down lift up and lower Lift, lower. All right, so if you are already subscribed, thank you. And if you haven't, go ahead, make sure you click the bell to get the notification for the next time another video drops. We're doing three more. And for those of you who have already subscribed, that workout we did last week, the upper body, great compliment to this one. Knees come back into your chest. Flex your feet, extend up and hold. Pull your body weight into the floor. If this is too much on your back, soft knees. Excellent. All right, come on up. We are doing a side exercise today. Old school. So can I get you to bend your knees, pelvic tilt. Take your shoulders down into your back. This arm can go to the hip or come here. I'm gonna prefer mine right at the hip and we lift up. And four, three, two, and one. Four more again, and then we'll add in some oblique work. You got it? Four, three, two. So this next one's a little tricky. It's an old school move, but it's a little tricky. We're gonna slide the arm out here. I want you to keep your hips stacked, and you're gonna take your fingertips, spread them, place them here lift and lower. It's a short range of motion. Going back a week. So I'm talking that April 4th workout. We did this standing. It's the same form we talked about there. We're just placing it on the floor for four, three, two, and we come back up. Second round for the abductors, outer hip, Start with the leg stretch. Now this time, we're keeping the leg straight. Hips forward, fingertips down, lift. Two, and I really want you to lift up. Try not to sink down. Really lift up, engage the core. Three, two, and one. We're adding two more. And release, okay, now. I want you to take this foot, place it behind you. Drop your foot down. You're gonna shift back just a little. This cheek right here still stays elevated. You're on that bottom hip and we just pulse. Like I said, we're doing old school today. This is all the stuff we used to do in the 80s. Yes, I am old enough to remember what we did in the 80s. I started teaching in the 80s and you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, we're changing sides. So we're on our second song. Remember I said, I only have you for three songs today. Let's stretch out those legs, pull the hips forward, lift up. Look at all that real estate here. That's what I want. I want you to lift up. And do a better job than your instructor did. I'm too close to the bookcase. Make sure you have room. Okay, remember that hand can go here, fingertips here. Lift and lower. Try not to sink down. Lift and lower. One more. And release. All right. Come on down. Arm up and lift. Two. Make sure you're not pulling on your head. You're crunching through the torso. Again, for four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Nice job. Come on up. Legs are straight, hips come forward, and lift. Relax the shoulder. Lift. Keep going. Hit the hip, and that middle abdominal really stays tight. One, two, you take that top leg, bring it back. Drop the heel, and now pull the hips forward. This is gonna sound counterintuitive. You're gonna pull the hips forward to pelvic tilt, and then shift back. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five. Again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stop. Excellent. All right, let's stretch it out. Can I get you in a tabletop position? Knees apart, shift your hips to one side. This is a great place if you have sensitive knees. Do a hip circle, shift to the other side to have something under your knees. We're going to remain in our tabletop. Add a few bird dogs in. There is a how to to properly bird dog if you don't feel like your rhythm is matching mine or your movements are matching mine. Head on over to the playlist. My body doesn't do that yet and check it out. We're gonna start with the upper body portion first. We crunch in, we reach out. You can tip your tailbone here. Not a big tip, not a true cow for all my yogis out there. One more. Now, pull it in. In, tap back. In, tap back, in, tap back, two more, in, tap back, one more, in, tap back, can you pick it up, one, two, three, we all are going to cat stretch, tuck your toes, round up, so this particular at workout, and sweep through into your cow. You can do a couple times this week because we're not doing any weights with it. You can add it into your upper body work. You can add it in on the days that you don't have time for a full workout. Neutral spine, other side please. Contract, release, contract, release. Again, contract, release, contract, abs tight, release. Contract, release, contract, release. Take the leg out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Two more, in and out. One more that tempo. We pick up our tempo here, in, two, Two more, one more, and hold it. Round up into a cat stretch. We're on our backs. Ooh, come on down. This is a great place for you to get water if you need water. Come on back. Pelvic tilt, perfect timing, third song. We're gonna take our dead bug. Good way to practice. We've done this before in some of our earlier workouts. Inhale. Exhale out, bring your feet up. Pull your body into the floor. 
pelvic tilt. Let's start with the lower body. Take your right leg down. Let it hover and lift up. Now this isn't a long set because I do want to stretch you out. And one more time going back because I don't know if I finished my thought with this one. And going back to how to use this. Post cardio on a jam packed day and you can't get in a full workout. 15 minutes is all you have. 15 minutes is better than no minutes at all. The only bad workout is the one that you don't do. I wish I could take credit for that, but that's a gym quote. And down. Woo. One more each side and lower. So we're doing half of a dead bug because we haven't added the arms in and I'm gonna keep it that way. And release, bring your heels down. Turn your knees out, feet together, and just hang here now. Slight pelvic tilt, and you wanna relax your glutes. As a matter of fact, you can cross your arms here. A mini Shavasana. So we stretch the legs out. And we just hold our corpse pose. Let your feet fall naturally. And we're gonna think of this stretch as not a true stretch. We're gonna think of it as a moment to just quiet ourselves down. Release the bind, let the arms come out to the side. They can go perpendicular to the body. Or your palms can stay up and arms parallel. And you are just lying on the floor, being still. Giving yourself a high five in your mind. You are giving yourself that round of applause for prioritizing you, maintaining your commitment and your focus to your daily self-care. And if you still feel a little guilty, bring that buddy on in. Bring the spouse, bring the kids. It's 15 minutes, it could be family fitness. That way you get your workout. More steps in your journey to forever fit. And you get to spend some quality time with others. Not to be substituted completely for your down time and your quiet time. I still encourage you to do that. All right, I want you to pick a side, any side. It doesn't matter which one. You're going to roll to that side, almost in a fetal position. We're not here long enough to enjoy the fetal position. Use your hand and press up. And I'm going to cross at my ankles because you guys know, if you've been with me for some time, I love my easy pose but you can go into butterfly or just sit with your legs straight out. Once you get in position, gentle rotation. And then we come back to the other side. Excellent. And inhale. And exhale out. Fingertips to the floor. Drop your head to one side. You cannot get this wrong. Just lower to the side. Make sure your shoulders don't creep up and you're not holding your breath. But it doesn't matter which side you start out with. And to the other side. And bring your head up. Lower to the center. Hold. Keep the shoulders down into the back. Fingertips to the knees, sit forward. Hold steady. If your mind just drifted to the other things you need to do, throw them off. Don't worry about your to-do list. Don't think about the grocery shopping or the laundry. Stay here, 
stay still. Take a deep inhale. Exhale out. Bring your hands in prayer pose, hands to your heart. Flutter your eyes open. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you, my friends. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your energy and your support. Next week, we are doing a barbell workout. And if you don't have a barbell, unscrew. Yeah, you heard me. The bottom of the broom or the mop. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So that'll be April 4th. I'm sorry, not April 14th. April 18th. But in the meantime, comment. Let me know how you do this week with this video. We have another workout um, on Instagram. So you can meet me over on Instagram. But I want you to do this. Hold on to it. Do it a couple times this week. And until we meet again, bye for now.